through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been now. I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Oh, yeah. Let's get this. Let's put this back right where it needs to be. What's going on everybody? Cake is a lot here. I'm back playing the Horizon series and we're now going to play Horizon Forbidden West. And I have played it most of it. I played most of it already and uh I got to the final battle and could not beat it to save my life. So hopefully I'll be able to beat it for you guys, but let's just see how everything goes. Let's just put it on normal because I'm okay at these games, not crazy, but um Let's just do guided. Guided's easier for me, so. Get it started. I won't talk during the cutscenes that I did last time, so let's just see how well it goes. <laughs> Hopefully, the quality is good for you guys, so. I'll try to upload this one frequently, but. Still, still get the Rocket League videos and all that stuff, but if you have any other games you want me to play, please let me know, know down below. And this is taking forever. There we go. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. 
And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? It must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on.
Shall we? Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. All right. So let me just do a couple of things. I'll cut this out. All right, not too bad. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. Hang on one second, guys. Right. The focus helps you see the ones we need. This game is beautiful. I am, however, playing this on the PS4. I didn't get the PS5 version, but because I got this game before the PS, before I got my PS5, so we'll uh, see where we go from there. Doesn't look any different than what I've seen, so can't yeah, walk up there, I guess. But here we go. Pick these up. We should keep going. Might want to see more of these plants along the way. Go on, go this way. Good idea. There's more of the red growths here, too. <coughs> oh, whatever I just touched was slimy. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways these ropes down. Here, but we can use the line to slide down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like. A set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. <laughs> Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. I'll try to do a little bit of audio or not audio. Wow. Uh content like just talking commentary is what i'm trying to say um but this game it just it blinds my mind it blows my mind nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free just have to target the lock someone took down this machine recently who else would come here i don't know we better craft some arrows of our own there might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. I also gotta figure out the... Yeah, I gotta turn that off. After you. I gotta turn that off. I gotta cut that out. Transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too, and starve. We're not gonna let that happen. So, uh... Um, Still exploring it, yeah. What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. 
Then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. I get up there. This side? Dead end, Aloy. Yeah, I know. All right. I'm just gonna get up there if I can see. Over here, tilting my head, thinking that I'm gonna be able to see things around the screen. <sighs> Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? A focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. I'm ready. Okay, concentrate. coming where where is he oh he's over there what the hell all right there we go oh that was a weird animation all right. The focus know all that. It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah. Kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. So I set out to find you. Looks I'm doing pretty alright right now. Got it. Go. Yep, just swing through the bar, Aloy. Alright. Someone shot this machine too. You said you got a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Yeah, ever since I played the first one, I absolutely was super excited when I saw a trailer for this. I already heard there's a third one coming out, which is exciting, so I just wanted to beat this first. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but. Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? No, oh, I'm already going forward. Bye. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Let's pick up what I can. Ugh. What's that stench? Our entire camp. Why doubt? They must have come here to Delph for scrap. Wow. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Through the camp, through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Don't make it too obvious, Aloy. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I 
can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the oh, Excuse me. I'm really burpy right now. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Was I just over here? Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Oh, did I have to actually pick up the hook? Oh no. That's it. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. <laughs> Convenient. All right. Let's see what I got here. Yeah, craft it. Cool. Easy enough. There. Uh, pull caster. <laughs> Now to test it on the debris. Yep, I already got it. There we go. Bull. Back that rock didn't hit me. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth this is didn't turn up much. We say reach the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please. Proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. <laughs> Hope it's not too quiet for everybody. Hang on. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers and now far zenith is taking the next leap into the future that's why we're proud to have resurrected the odyssey <laughs> when our governments abandoned in orbit far zenith will actualize in less than a decade but that's only the beginning when the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before.
a serious system. There, who will create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. Is the playback stopped? The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. It's subtle. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Alright, so. Love the storyline of this game. The wilds have really grown over this place. Don't mind me. Watch out, Barrel. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. What is that? I'm gonna think we'll kill this officer. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Mm hmm. Up here. You ever seen something like that? Yeah. Mm. Or burrows. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay. There's its patrol path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait. Oh, didn't see me. 
There it goes. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Gotcha. Mine's down too. See what you got on this one. Myself spotted. Come on, little buddy. Come on. I like doing the sneak attacks, they're more fun. Where's she going? I think I had to do that, but you know, it's easier. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry, my whiskers the offend must you. Have used explosives no against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Can I go this one? Okay, go that way. Oh, duh. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll just grab everything I can. I'll keep this for later. Let's go. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Cool. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I'm just, you know, searching everything that they have. Okay. Should have what I need to craft a trap. Yep, but I'm grabbing everything. I wanna. Weak points are. 
Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Come on, really? Yeah. Let's keep going then. Grab some medical supplies, why not? Pick up these rocks because I can always use them again. There we go. Alright, let's go. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Well, they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Alright, just everywhere's falling apart. Alright, cool. Now we're gonna go over there. Oh. Right there. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> Alright. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. To the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Looks like we've got to climb up. Bigger as much. What's horizon without not climbing? years old looks like some kind of meeting room I don't sorry I didn't mean to cut that Onzu. the zero dawn terraforming system the brainchild of dr. Elizabeth Sobek empowered by nine subordinate functions Gaia the core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Pro. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. 
I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Laurel's so confused, but I completely understand. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Laurel. We should keep moving. After you. Okay. Now we're... Oh. Oh, blast bombs. Oh, cool. She's about to wrap up this video. I didn't realize that I've already been recording for almost 47 minutes, but... Down here. Oh, nope. Cool. That way. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Get back up, get back up, get back up. I can do more damage. Boom. Machine couldn't take the cold. Big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Okay, this way. And this way. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named part of part Tim Farrell approached them up. No. He was worse. Okay, boom, boom. Going up there. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in a focus to keep track of them. All right. Well, that's going to be this video for now. Um, yeah, I just thought that I was going to be able to at least get through the intro, but there's not really a whole lot. I mean, this is a long intro. I remember playing it for the first time, but. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I will catch you guys in the next one and make sure you guys subscribe and I'm going to try to make this almost, I'm going to try to make it a daily video, but I'm trying to get better at editing. So we'll see what happens. I'll catch you guys later.